Our next guest I ran into while looking for a story about motor scooters. What I found out proved to me that not all scooters were alike. And in fact, some scooters are so wild that the U.S. passed laws banning them from being imported. The scooter that I'm referring to? Well, it's a Vespa, the company that put the word style back into scooters. We caught up with Stacy, an expert on Vespas, and asked her to explain just what the whole mad craze was all about. Well, if you want to know what Vespa, the people that created the Vespa think the reason it's so stylish is they said originally that they designed the Vespa to look like a beautiful woman. So <laughs> that's, that's what they're, the Italians in Italy figure this is what a beautiful woman is supposed to look like. <laughs> so. Um, this is the clutch right here. Um, all the gears are stamped in the side uh, handle here. And all you would do is pull in the clutch. Well, you'd have the scooter running, of course. You'd pull in the clutch. And all you would do is turn and let go of the clutch when you select the proper gear. And that's all there is to it. It's got a hand front brake here and a rear brake here. And that's it. <laughs> turn and go. <laughs> Vespa's been making scooters since 1948, and they've made everything from a 50 to a 90 to a 125, I'm sorry, to a 100 to a 125 to a 150 to a 160 to a 180 to a 200, so there's a huge range of different kinds of scooters you can get. Well, Vespa's haven't been imported into America since 1981. Uh, in 1981, the U.S. passed the emissions standard, which doesn't allow two-stroke vehicles into the country anymore, and Vespa's being two-stroke were no longer allowed in, so. Those are the newest ones you can get is 1981. It was six people that decided somehow, some way, probably some night when they were having way too much fun, that they were going to drive their scooters from here in San Francisco all the way to New York City and then have their scooters flown to England and ride from England to Italy uh, last September because it was the 50th anniversary of the Vespa and there was a huge party happening in Italy and they decided that they weren't going to miss it and they were going to bring their scooters. So. They drove all the way to Italy on their scooters. Yes, they did. <laughs> and actually it went surprisingly well. There was no major catastrophes, no major breakdowns. Everything was, I was totally astonished. There was <laughs> basically problem free and they had a great time. Very big dog. <laughs> he is the Vespa dog. Have you ever been able to get him on a Vespa? I actually um, got him in a sidecar once. Um, he was not very pleased about it because he was he was quite crammed in. But um, I have a picture of him in a sidecar. I tried to drive it, and he did not want to have any part of it and jumped out. So that's the closest he's ever gotten, riding a scooter. Well, I, don't, I ride motorcycles as well, and I love motorcycles too. But scooters, especially for uh, a in-town kind of riding experience, they're easier to get around on. They're so light. You can just you know throw them around the road. They're, they're so easy to drive. And they're on top of that, they're quite peppy. So it's not like you're driving something that's you know terribly slow. And you know, it's always great to get looked at when you're driving down the street, so <laughs> that makes it fun too. They love their scooters so much that they want to make them an extension of themselves. And there's so many cool accessories that you can buy for your scooter. You have so many options of, you know, making it an individual, like this scooter right here has drop bars on it. And this is like considered to be really racy and really cool. So this kid is kind of a, you know, he's 17, he wants to look cool, he wants to go fast, and he wants to have style. So I think everybody puts their own little touch in their scooter, for sure. Well, I think there's two train of thoughts. One is it doesn't go as fast as a motorcycle. So you'll never be traveling as fast as you can on a motorcycle. So 
you could think if you were to crash, you wouldn't be going as fast. But on the other hand, the braking is not as technologically advanced as nice new motorcycle braking is, so the braking is not as good. So two trains of thought there. <laughs> Well, any Vespa, as long as it's in good shape and it's been taken care of, is a good scooter to buy. Um, but if you're a new scooter rider, the last model that they imported was the P200, which is this bike that I'm sitting on. Um, it's the easiest to get parts for. We have 98% of the parts for this scooter in stock today, right now. Um, they're the most common ones. There's many of them around. They're easy to get worked on. They're easy to get the parts for. So for new, more hassle-free scooter experience, I tend to tell people to get a P200 first. The fastest it could ever be is like three months. I mean, it's absolutely crazy. So it's got to go. You got to order it. You got to wire them the money. They have to clear it. It has to go to customs in their country. They have to label it. It has to come to customs here in our country. They have to check through it and label it. And then we get to go get it. Plus, all the time it takes to get on. I mean, we never fly anything here because it's just outrageously expensive. So we put it on a boat. So by the time the boat gets here, it <laughs> gets everything, you know, so. Takes a while. Why is it outrageously expensive to uh, air? To fly stuff? Uh, you'd have to order so much stuff in order to make the freight because it would be here in like, you know, three, four days. So it's just, it's like three times the money that it is to. We usually spend all of our money on parts so we don't have money left over to spend for shipping. So we do it the cheap way. Vespa there's too? Vespa. There's a couple of Vespa dealers in America, and we always order back and forth from each other when we're low on stuff. We generally try to order all of our parts from Europe. Um, they're much cheaper because you buy more in bulk. But what happens is we place uh, an order to Italy probably three times a year. So in between those times, if we're low on something, we'll call you know one of our friends' scooter shops and see if they have the parts and just patch things up that way. Uh, because they know that they're riding something that's old and unique and when they see somebody else who's got the same interest, they, you, know, you always be driving down the street. If you see somebody on a Vespa, they'll always wave to you if you're riding a Vespa as well. I think lots of Harley people have that too, don't they? They have that. <laughs> now with Jeff, No, they don't like you guys. <laughs>